Good morning. Welcome to Our Town at Common Coffee. I'm Kirk Carraway. This morning we're talking with Carol Scott, Wild Horse Children's Theater. Right now we're going to take a short break for a word from our sponsor. Greater Nevada Credit Union, where banking has never been easier. With automatic bill paying, full electronic banking, easy drive throughs with extended hours, and when you call or come in, you get a real person to talk to. Be part of something greater. Greater Nevada Credit Union, member owned since 1949. And we're back talking with Carol Scott. How are you doing this morning? Good. How are you? All right. Well, how are things going over at Wild Horse Children's Theater? Things are going well. We are pretty busy. I understand that. And busy so. is good. Yeah. So, so what's the first busy thing coming up? Oh, the first busy thing coming up. We have um, a lot of on our spring schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, we the first thing we're doing coming up. I think first, if I put them in order would be our toddler theater, mm -hmm. which we do for our youngest audition, our, 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 our youngest stars, uh -huh. and they are ages five and under. Wow. So they're the, the segment of the population that you don't imagine yeah. that there's a theater performance for them. And it's actually an interactive theater, an educational theater program. Uh -huh. And we do um, two literary books that kids are familiar with. Mm -hmm. One of them is Brown, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Yeah. You know that book? <laughs> oh, yes, I know that book well. <laughs> and Caps for Sale. Do you know that one? Actually, I don't know that okay. one. That a lot of people don't, and it's kind yeah. of like an older book, but mm -hmm. it's a really great mm -hmm. book, uh, really fun to act out. And we actually have the kids that want to. We ask the kids in the audience if they want to participate, and they actually become little actors mm -hmm. in our play as we act it out. Yeah. And they learned all kinds of things like color recognition, sequencing, and yeah. just how to do little acting parts wow. when they're little. Yeah. And, and it's for the whole family, too. So, um, And then the admission price also includes not only the, the show, which is sized down for the kids, so it's yeah. about 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah. They also get a snack and a drink and then um, admission to the Children's Museum for as long as they want, hey. so that's great. And those performances are February 19th and February 26th. It's two Saturdays in a row. Mm -hmm. And there's a 10 a.m. performance and 11 a.m. performance. Okay. So now this isn't, they don't have to come in. Do they come in and rehearse beforehand? No, or this no. is just show up and we're going to set yeah. this thing up and, that's right. and go? It's okay. a show and then we take, uh, so, and some kids don't want to be on stage. Mm -hmm. So we take the kids that want to and be involved and the other ones can watch and mm -hmm. then be involved later if they want. Yeah, well that's great. So it's really fun. And then our um, next show that's coming up is actually our touring production that tours to the schools. Mm -hmm. And we do one of these every year uh, mm -hmm. to local schools in Carson, Douglas, and Dayton. Mm -hmm. And we do Art Town also with this production. And this production, we got a grant from the Nevada Arts Council. Well, actually, the Nevada Arts Council funds all of our, our productions. Yeah. And also Best Buy. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a multicultural, multilingual show. Mm. And we wanted to reach a segment of the population that's not normally reached, our yeah. Hispanic population. Mm -hmm. And we actually have some uh, Spanish-speaking actresses mm -hmm. in our show. We did a special casting for that. So now they're part of our company. And we have about eight uh, actors in each production. And we go to the schools. And it's just um, it's a show called Cinderella Eats Rice and Beans, A Salsa Fairy Tale. <laughs> and it's actually about... Um, cultural diversity and uh, being kind to people of other cultures and respect and self-esteem. Mm. So it's a, we like to bring a teaching element to our touring productions. Oh, wow. And so now this is going to hit all the, the schools in Carson or what, what schools do you go to? Uh, we send a uh, letter out to all the schools mm -hmm. and uh, it's first come first serve because we do take our actors out of school one day a month yeah. and we have two casts so we can alternate that. Yeah. And um, the schools let us know where, when they want us to perform. And actually, one show, one day, we have five performances in one day Wow! of the show. All right. Yeah. So, so coming to a school near you. Coming to a school near you. Yes, we've already booked a lot of schools. And actually, we're doing four performances at the Boys and Girls Club in Carson City also. Mm, all right. Uh, we're going to take a short break right now and come back after word from our sponsor. When you walk into a Charlie's Grilled Subs, you walk back in time when subs were made from scratch with premium meats, real dairy cheese, delicious breads, and very fresh vegetables. At Charlie's, what you see is what you get. Grilled live, right in front of you. Nothing pre-cooked or pre-assembled. It's just all good. It's delicious. <laughs> so when you want a fresh, healthy blast from the past, visit Charlie's at the east entrance to the Carson Mall. Your tummy will thank you. And we're back talking with Carol Scott. Uh, now, besides the the, the, the Honk Junior, now right. you, what other uh, programs do you have coming up for Wild Horse? 
Well, we just had our auditions for Honk Jr. Okay. Oh, okay. And yeah, and that's our um, spring production, our main stage okay. production. That's our big musical where we have about 80 children involved. Okay. Uh, we don't turn any child away. Mm -hmm. And so anybody who auditions gets a part, and, and we have a fabulous cast for that show. Um, we just had put the cast list up. That show runs for two weekends in May, the first two weekends, mm -hmm. at the Children's Museum. We do four shows um, during that week, every yeah. weekend. And it's the story of the Ugly Ducklings, mm. and it's a wonderful musical, and um, it has fun songs, has some great dances, it has a whole showgirl number, like a Vegas number with the frogs. <laughs> so imagine okay. frogs and tuxedos. As showgirls. Yeah, okay. as showgirls. Okay. And with lily pad hats. So it's a Brings huge back a Bugs Bunny cartoon or yeah. something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a great show. going to be stuck in my head all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fun. Um, really good show. Like I said, a spectacular cast. Mm -hmm. So we're just actually going to rehearsals for that show. Okay. Um, and then we have a summer program coming up, mm -hmm. and we're going to be doing um, two shows this summer in our uh, Summer on Broadway 2011. Mm -hmm. Boy, the years go by. And so at Summer on Broadway 2011, we're going to be doing a um, uh, kind of wacky Shakespeare. Uh, I think it's called Macbeth, the musical comedy. Okay. So it's a little <laughs> offbeat, very, very funny. Um, gender bending Macbeth, and it's going to be for our older kids, um, uh -huh. eight and up. Eight and up. Okay. And uh, that will be uh, three weeks in the summer, and I'm not sure of the dates yet. We haven't nailed those down yet. Uh -huh. And then also we have um, a show for the younger kids, uh -huh. and um, it's a very, very short musical for ages four to seven. Okay. We have a lot of parents that want to know if there's drama out there or theater out there for those really younger kids. And we do reach we start at five in our main stage mm -hmm. productions. Yeah. Four is a little bit young for us to handle backstage yeah. with yeah. 80 kids backstage. Yes. But we are going to serve those children in mm -hmm. our summer camp, and that'll be a, a one or two week, mm -hmm. one hour a day. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, it's an amazing uh, program for kids who haven't been through it with my daughter, and, <laughs> and you know, and, and you know, teaching even young kids who don't, you know, just don't even know what acting is really. It's like, oh, we're going to be on stage for a play, you know, and and. And getting them around these really professional actors, you know, actors and actresses. We have some that, great talent that are here. amazing. Some of these people come through that program. So yeah. And uh, it really gives them something to aspire to, the younger kids. We know, are so. very fortunate to have the talent we have here. And it just astounds me every time we have auditions to see. We have so many new kids walking through the door mm -hmm. that just blow you away. And we're just really glad to have them part of our company, too. So, all right. Uh, so tell us the uh, the dates of the show for the next the toddler theater. Uh, toddler so theater sure. is uh, Saturday, February nineteenth at ten and eleven, okay. and Saturday, February twenty sixth at ten. Um, and you can get tickets by calling our box office at eight eight seven zero four three eight, or our website has all the information. You can buy tickets online through our okay. website with no service charge at www.wildhorsetheater.com. All right. Hey, well, thanks for coming on thank and talking to us about this. And thank you for tuning in to Our Town at Comic Coffee. We will catch you next time. Greater Nevada Credit Union, where banking has never been easier. With automatic bill paying, full electronic banking, easy drive throughs with extended hours, and when you call or come in, you get a real person to talk to. Be part of something greater. Greater Nevada Credit Union, member-owned since 1949.